So we've entered two different types of data into our Excel worksheet. We got text, represented through our headers. We got numeric data. This is all the numbers out there that represent the different spend and different amounts that I've spent on my bills for the various months. Now I want to talk a little bit about dates. I had mentioned just really briefly in the earlier lecture about numbers that dates to Excel are really numbers as well. Let's take a look. Now I do have a form of a date in here. I've got headers, Jan, Feb, and Mar. Those are date values, but they're not complete date values. You know what? I wanted to say January 2016, February 2016, March 2016. This is really simple to do. All I'm going to do is click into one of these values, such as B4, which contains January. I'm going to double click. I want to edit that value. I'll double click. My cursor's now inside of that cell, B4, and I'm going to type in hyphen 2016. There we go. I'll hit my Enter key. What do you think? It's not exactly what I typed in. I got January 16, it's 2016. What else changed about it? Well, it's right aligned. Remember, Excel recognizes dates and it recognizes them as being a numeric value. Let's try this again. I'm gonna to go to C4, I'll double click, and I'm gonna type in hyphen 2016. I'll hit my Enter key. There we go. I've got a date. Excel is recognizing this as a date and I can tell because it's right aligning it now because it treats dates like numeric data. Let's try it one more time. Here comes March, double click, hyphen 2016, hit my enter key and I've got my Mar 16. Now this is great. Excel's recognizing it. It's a very smart application. It's doing a lot of the work for me. I didn't have to format it. I just typed it in. It recognized it as a date and it treats it like a date. But you know what? I want him to say Jan 2016. Well, you know what? I'm going to select those three cells. I'm just going to left click B4 and drag over to D4. Just grab my three headers. Now, remember, Excel has already done some of the work for us. It recognized it as a date and it's treating it as a date. But not exactly the way that I really want it to. Although, what, what they've given me is completely fine. We could keep it that way and call it good. But I'd like to like it to say 2016. Because okay? I don't want anybody to mistake this, that, that this is the 16th day of those months. Okay? So now, with those cells selected, I can look at my formula bar and I do see a date. Okay? It's Excel is, again, recognized it as a date. But I'm going to format it a little bit differently. So on my Home tab, about three quarters of the way to the right, I got a section called Number. And I can see that it's customized the number format. I'm going to change it. I'll go to a little drop down here. And I'm going to go down to More Number Formats. And this opens up my Format Cells window. And in here I can see it's a custom category format. And it's using MMM, an abbreviation of the month, three letter abbreviation, hyphen, YY. And it's an abbreviation of the year, two digits. Now I like it to be a full-fledged four digit year. So all I'm going to do is hop up here where it says type and it gives me the example MMM hyphen YY and I'm just going to add two more Y's. YY. And I can see a preview up here. It's Jan 2016. And that's it. I'll hit OK. And I've now got my Jan 2016, February and March 2016. A simple change. Although Excel did quite a bit of the work for us, already recognizing it as a date, formatting it as such, we just tweaked it a little bit, giving it a little bit more information, four Ys rather than the two, getting the full year out of it. Now I'm totally going to leave this up to you. You can leave it as the two digits, completely fine. That's what Excel did by default. Or you can modify it. But entering dates, as long as it's a valid date format, Excel recognizes it and it'll treat it as a date.